Dame Dash is about to sell, well, they're about to auction off a third of Reasonable Doubt. You know about this? No, I didn't hear about it. Okay, so so basically, Dame Dash got hit with like a, a defamation lawsuit, and he couldn't pay it back, so they basically seized his assets. And one of the assets they seized. I like that free Yale shirt you got on. Yeah, of course, man. I represent. Yeah. I represent. Spencer's. I don't you guys. Yeah. Love you guys, Spencer's. So basically, Dame Dash wasn't able to pay back the lawsuit, so they seized his assets. And one of the big assets they seized was a third of reasonable doubt. Okay. Okay. So it's about to be auctioned, and everyone's wondering whatever, you know, how much it's going to go for. And I don't know if you heard about this, but there's something called Section 203 of the Copyright Act. And what it says is that after 35 years, an artist will get back the rights to his music. Okay. Okay. Reasonable Doubt is about 30 years old. So right before the auction is about to go live, Jay-Z made an announcement said that whoever buys it, they're only going to have it for five years. Because <laughs> five years later, it's going to go back to him. Yeah, that's a smart move. Yeah. You know? I so, mean, when you, when, when you look at Jay and 50, and I don't, like I said, I don't come here to talk about 50, but it was always about competition. Like, yeah. 50 was always a fucking genius. Like, when, I remember when 50 dropped How to Raw, and I remember how Rob, when How to Rob dropped, it was so crazy because he had the thing, I'm about a dollar. What the fuck is 50 Cent? Yeah. And 50 was like, yeah. That's when I knew that nigga was crazy. Yeah, they had a song together later on. Yeah, it was of like course, a, a promo I, song. Was it a real I, song or a promo yeah, song? It was yeah. something. Probably the Reebok thing. Yeah, the Reebok thing, exactly. But yeah, but, yeah. but one thing about 50 is, um, you know, he's one of the greats, man. Right. So basically, we, basically, this thing's about to go to auction. And uh, what's making its rounds right now is that... Why buy it if you're going to lose it in well, five Well, you're going to lose it anyways, right? He yeah. goes, oh, I don't know why Jay hating on the next man or whatever. Oh, nah, I, nah. I don't think Jay's going to buy okay, it. I think well, he's going to well, let it... Well, the money gonna, stop. Why yeah. not just wait five years? Exactly. He's just going to let mean, it get sold I mean, to yo, whoever and get it back yo, five guys years like, later. Guys like fucking Jay-Z, 50 Cent, fucking Eminem. Yeah. Fucking Paul Rosenberg. Yeah, they're on a different financial they, level. They, these guys got money. They don't. What's five million to one of these niggas? Exactly. So Just now like there's a video. That goes back to the half a million to yeah, protect for the cops. Yeah. Two billion dollars worth for artists. Exactly. So now a video, a video is making its rounds right? right now. So you got to make it make sense. Yeah. Exactly. You know exactly. what? You what's that movie when you like? Yo, you were chain snatching, job turkeys, motherfucker. Like motherfuckers. What movie? Like, Wait, what movie I forgot that? what movie that was. But we got to get better, man, as a whole, man, because Human Harmony was great. Shout to all the artists, comedians, fucking rappers, whatever you want to call them, celebrities. Everybody was celebrities. Carlito's Way. Carlito's Way. Yes. Chain snatching. Yeah, Al Pacino said <laughs> that. Yeah. Chop turkey, motherfucker, Wait, whatever. So basically, a video is making its rounds right now. The Dame Dash is saying, yeah, to whoever spends over $10 million on this reasonable doubt thing, I'm going to throw in a Rockefeller chain. Uh, uh, Dame is cool, but nobody's going for that. They, <laughs> once Jay, look, look, listen, man. And I don't like to talk about Jay-Z and none of these niggas because I'm friends with 50. I don't even like talking about these niggas. But once a nigga says, I'm going to get it in five years anyway, nobody's going to spend money. Right, right. I mean, basically people are saying. The, now, what happened to the nigga that bought the Wu-Tang out? He got locked up by the feds, right? And they took it? Martin Screlly, I interviewed him. And they took it, right? No, they didn't take it. Well, he still had it, right? He, he still had it and he sold it at a profit. And he made profit, right? Yes. Now that's different. But now that if you was, got an album, look, hold yeah. on. What, Vlad, you got to let me speak. If you got an album, then it's cool. That's cool. Like, yo, I spend five million or this on an album, reasonable doubts, this or whatever. If it's an album that's different, like the guy had the Wu-Tang album. Right. And he bought it, they said, supposedly for a million. I don't believe everything in press, so I don't know. Supposedly for a million and he sold it for what? He he bought it for I think half a million, sold it for like one point seven or something okay, like cool. that. Yeah. He bought it for half a million, yeah. sold it for one point seven. Yeah. Right? Cool. Now if it was an album, that'd be different. But once the nigga say, yo, don't buy that, that's like a nigga telling you Well, it's a third of an album. You gotta remember, these niggas we hustlers. It's, it's a these, third of an album. All these niggas yeah. are hustlers. Yeah. So all that nigga Jay did, or like a fifth would do, is tell you don't buy that shit, it's bad work. Nigga. Exactly. Fuck out of here. That's no, all exactly. he that's all he did. Yo, that's bad work. Exactly. I'm going to own that shit in five years anyway. Exactly. It's and common you know, sense. Ain't nothing to, that can fix that. So so basically, he's saying we're throwing a Rockefeller chain. People are saying that's the equivalent of throwing in an air freshener when you buy a car. 
You know, and what's here's the interesting you part about it. You got to understand this, Vlad. Everybody is smarter now. Yeah. You got to let me talk. And what I mean by that, when we first came out, motherfuckers was just reading the sound scheme. Mm-hmm. Now, little kids will be like, give me phone. My man's son is seven years old. He's FaceTiming him and is teaching him how to Apple cash. The generation is smarter now. You can't pull the wool over these people's eyes. That's why when I get on here, I don't prep nothing to be like, you going to say this. No, I get on here and be myself because you cannot pull the wool over people's eyes. Kids are smarter. People are entrepreneurs with their 